how to go from this. Where is this goddamn objective? I can't seem to find it anywhere. Oh, come on, you see. Oh my god, are you serious? The husky husk? To this. Yo, I see you hiding behind that tree, fool. You wanna step up? You wanna throw down? I pop you in the noggin. You get. You wanna charge? Oh, let's roll, son. Let's dance. You ain't got nothing on me. I'm about to pop, unload this Thompson clip on you. What are you gonna say? Nothing. Oh, you still running? You still running? We're gonna pop you with that no scope. That one, no no scope. But I'm gonna dance on your corpse. By the way, I do. I do know what a no scope is. Hello everyone, my name is Aiden and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to become better at Save the World alongside improving the experience you have in the game. So, you know, some of these tips and some of these tricks are going to basically tell you guys how to, uh, some of them is farming, some of them is abilities uh, and stuff like that. Basically ways to improve your game experience overall. Now, uh, this is aimed more at the new guys since Save the World is on sale. A bunch of new players are joining the community. Welcome, a big hello from Save the World community. And, uh, you know, I want to help them. But there's also going to be some things in here that you may have not known as a longer term player. So it's worth watching just to find out. And also, you want to stay around for me, right? Right? So, in the background here, you can see me doing an encampment. So I'm doing an encampment mission. Now, what I want to... You know tell you guys from this is dedicating heroes to certain missions so this is an encampment mission where you rush from these encampments which are where these husks spawn and you basically take out several waves of husks i.e zombies to complete this mission there is no defending okay so something very simple would to be not running constructors now the soldiers ninjas and outlanders are all good add damage classes there are some specific outlanders which you can do a lot of damage with not all of them okay so outlanders i still threw into the equation but you know only some of them are designed to deal damage ninjas so i'm using a ninja dragon scorch is the specific character name for the one i'm using at the moment now that's because the ninja has a, a dragon slash ability so that is the lb you'll see me doing this all the time throughout this video in the background and it basically acts as an aoe so area of effect ability taking out multiple husks at once so running these encampment missions with something that does aoe damage so you can have a shockwave with the uh these soldiers and stuff like that they're gonna make these encampments a lot quicker a lot faster and that's why you should not use a constructor in this mission but use these damage dealing beasts you know what i'm saying so it's all well and dandy you playing soldiers ninjas and outlanders to do all this damage in the encampment missions and missions where you do not need to defend but when it comes to these defending missions constructors are a key to you completing the mission you know victory royale as they would say now constructors have a unique ability called base ability which you just saw me place a second ago this base ability covers so many tiles of your walls your floors everything you place down i.e your base now the base stretch how many tiles it goes out varies on your constructor as well as the perk that this base applies so the current constructor i have on screen his base ability so any of the materials that my base is covering when standing on a tile that is glowing up the people or my team and myself will get an additional 50 percent durability on our weapons so our weapons won't degrade as fast as if we weren't standing on it and they have a faster reload speed okay and all the constructors have different perks with their abilities a lots of different uh, uses so one of them heavy base coil which is uh, one of my favorites the one i pretty much always use he has like electrified floors and that means whenever the husks stand on a material which my base is connected to they take electric shocks every now and again and it, all of these different constructors have different perks and it's worth having a constructor in every single game. So that's why I recommend you learn to play one and, you know, force, force yourself to enjoy one, okay? If you don't, if you really don't enjoy playing one, fair enough. But I think it's definitely worth being able to play one so that if you do not have one in your game, you can always switch to it and it's going to make the game 10 times easier. So moving on, I wanted to talk about a little bit of farming. Now, 
what you want to be doing is when farming you should have a class of heroes that you use to farm so what i'm using here is a pathfinder outlander which uh, is arcalo jess and i also have my support recon scout which is a class that gives a support bonus of 6% at finding double loot. So these two characters combined make farming a lot easier. Outlanders have a lot of perks, a lot of their abilities are to help you farm. So when you want to farm, you should use said characters. Now, what I want to talk about as well is game etiquette. So, if you plan to farm, what you need to do is go to your privacy settings and go on private. This is a must have, okay? You shouldn't be going into public games where other people are playing, trying to complete the mission, and you are running around doing absolutely nothing to help, but yet just farming. You should go to a private match where you can farm by yourself, not disturb anyone, and also, you know, you're not competing against people to get these materials that you are after. Now, there are many materials in Save the World that can be found, but I'm just going to be covering nuts and bolts because they are so highly used and noobs don't know how to get them. Now, what you see on screen here are the bunch of pylons in industrial zones. Now, these are amazing for nuts and bolts. As you're going to see here, I'm going to drop a punch. Bang, top left, 85 nuts and bolts. So... You get a lot of nuts and bolts from this and also these little coils here, you can search them, you're going to get a bunch of metal alongside some nuts and bolts. Now these columns or well, this little building here doesn't show in every single industrial map but if you find it check it out because you know you can do what I just done outside to get nuts and bolts. There again I just got my hands on 32 nuts and bolts. This building is a gold mine for nuts and bolts that's right <laughs> and also these metal things here that i'm smashing give a lot of mechanical parts so if you need mechanical parts they're worth smashing up so as i said industrial zones are the way to go when farming for pretty much most materials but mostly metal nuts and bolts so here is an option that you can change in your settings now what you're going to do is head over to settings game and you're going to scroll down now this option is to toggle your interaction so instead of having to hold the button when you interact with an object you change it to on and you only have to tap the button and then it will search all of it and also here we have auto open doors you set that to on you walk through doors you don't have to click anything here i just click the button once and it searched it for me i do not have to hold the button down obviously it's a very simple concept but it's very it's very very useful and a lot of people don't even know this is an option that you can toggle so definitely worth setting on okay so i want to show you a little something to do with building now this is because a bunch of people don't really understand how husks work and because i've also seen this mistake made in twine peaks i'm not joking i can't tell if it's because people are lazy or whatever so i just want to show you a quick little thing so let's say that uh Let's say that this basketball hoop is the objective. The husks are trying to attack it. They're trying to stop people dunking. What are you going to do? So it's a one tile wide objective. Now, let's say the husks are spawning from this bush over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a funnel and a trap tunnel. So instead of just standing over here firing at all these husks, we have traps in Save the World, obviously. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build two walls like this okay and then we're gonna have this as our funnel slash kill tunnel so we're gonna have the husks spawning and instead of walking wherever they want they're not gonna go into these because this is gonna be an open option for them to walk directly to the objective they literally will will we'll walk straight now as you can see here a great example is they're not gonna walk around it they're gonna come straight through it and even without traps, as you can see, I just funnel them. And it's easier for me to shoot. It's easier to keep them under control. And that is how you want to play this game as the controller. Now, <laughs> what you want to do for a simple yet effective kill tunnel is this. So, what you're going to do is whack a three tile build. Now, if my screen stops going black, we can do this. We're going to add these tiles like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add 
this. Now, the point of this is some people build this is the mistake I see, is they build like this and they're done. Now what they do is they throw a wall launcher here. So this trap, husks walk into it, they will get pushed all the way back here, okay? Now what happens is husks can just walk around here and it doesn't really set off the trap or between the actual trap being set off and the husk wandering through this very small angle, the trap will miss them. And it will use a one of the uses and you know what's the point it's not hit the husk so what you want to do is go into edit mode and there's two ways you can do it you can have these two tiles here and it's going to produce this quarter wall which you can whack down like this and what this does is the husks are gonna have to walk all the way up past it giving this uh, wall launcher enough time to push the husks back uh, what you can also do is one of my favorite ones now is this the husks It might look like they have to come here, but they have to walk all the way around the same distance as the quarter wall uh, These are actually easier just to quickly build um, So hold on if I can just go at this so obviously something like this uh, I don't know how I'd edit it. I'll probably do that as where this one you can just edit it with a simple like that Obviously if people who play battle royale edit this is one of the things you use because it's quick to edit and yeah, it's very simple and the wall launchers are going to push them. Now, this is a simple three kill tunnel, three tile. But what you want to do is also add stairs to the funnel. And what this is going to do is act as a barrier between the wall and obviously yourself. And the husks are not going to break two walls when they can walk through here. Okay, so it acts as a nice funnel. So this is a very simple yet effective method that you can use on all four uh, compass sides. So north, east, west and south. And, um, you know, if your objective is this basketball hoop, for example... You can do it on each side, you know, make sure that all the husks are being funneled. And then what do you do? You can throw this down and with your constructor, place down your base ability. And like I mentioned earlier, it's going to have this glow and the base ability is going to be working on this. So these are just a couple of, of, you know, tips and tricks to help you guys out. Now, I imagine some of the more experienced players like hell Waden, i knew every single thing you said and if you did that's good you know you, you're playing the game correctly and that's what we want to see but for new people or pay, people who just didn't know start implementing this into your play style it's going to make you better you're going to become a better player and you're going to have more fun guys if this video helped be sure to drop a like and subscribe hit the notifications bell next to the subscribe button to be notified with my daily videos that is right daily and as i said at the beginning if you're new to save the world you know um welcome also if you are new i'm going to recommend that you if you are on youtube check out these two channels um david dean i always mention him he is one of the better maybe one of the be he is the best man let's be honest david dean is the best save the world player he's very good you can learn a lot from his channel and someone who has very uh you know entertaining videos is a guy called latana so check him out as well so you're going to get your dose of entertainment and you're also going to get your dose of information and ways to learn okay guys i'm going to stop talking because i do draw on at the end of these videos <laughs> so i will catch you in the next one no, next one do not neck anyone adios